Okay, here we are troubleshooting another annoying computer problem. I'm just uh, rebooting this Windows machine. Okay, battery is very low. So this is what I wanted to show you here. We have the little battery icon down here. And come on, open up. 0% in use not charging and it's really annoying because uh, what's up okay so the battery is not charging and uh, it's plugged in let's let's just shut this thing down okay in fact I'm just gonna push the power button and shut it down I'm so annoyed with this thing I'll just shut off okay so, what's going on here? We have our voltmeter here, okay? And uh, if we take the voltmeter and we take our power plug right here, okay? So we can do this with no hands. So we will touch the inside and the outside of that. And if we look up here, it says 20 volts, 19.97 volts. So it's got a voltage on our power plug, but it's not charging the battery. Okay. So, oh, come on. So here's a latch. It's real convenient to get to the battery. You got to unlatch this big plastic thing. Okay, unlatch it and pull that down. And then the battery is right here, and it's got a couple of latches you have to undo one here see how it turns red up there and another one up here and this one you kind of have to hold down the other one will uh, stay down okay anyway so then you can flip the battery out so <clears throat> I'm just going to take the battery out and we'll stick this plastic plate thing back on and see what's going on because it's not charging the battery so it looks like it's getting power to our power plug. So if my calculations are correct, let's plug this guy back in. We should be able to still boot the computer. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got a flashing light there. Oh, that's weird. Plug it in. Okay. And look at that, the computer, the computer is powering up with no battery in there, and it's not charging the battery. So what's going on here? Obviously the power plug's working. Uh, I don't know, maybe the battery's going bad? It's really annoying. So anyway, the computer runs, looks like, perfectly fine without the battery in there. I don't know what's going on here. Have to look into that a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it powered up perfectly fine with uh, no battery in there. So our uh, charging power supply here must be fine because the computer's running off of that only. And uh, it's not giving me the battery warning anymore because I guess there's no battery in there. So maybe there's a problem with the battery. Maybe we should uh, try getting a new battery and uh, replacing the battery and see if that helps. Okay. Okay, I guess just taking the battery out, it didn't fix it. Because now it's plugged in. Okay. And the power light is just blinking on and off really quickly. And the caps lock is too. And I cannot force it to start. So, I'll unplug it and plug it back in. And it just continues to do the same nonsense. It's really irritating. Maybe I'll try sticking the battery back in and see if I can force it to a different state. Okay, I just put the battery back in and it looks like it wants so all the lights are on now. Now let's plug this in and see if we can restart it. This is so freaking annoying. 
Uh, something on the internet says that it could be due to a Windows update. Uh, okay, we'll let it reboot and see what happens now. Okay, so we reinserted the battery and now the thing seems to be starting again. And well, this thing may not be up and running yet. Okay, what is this? Let's click on the battery thing. <sighs> Looks like 0% and charging. So how annoying. So I guess taking the battery out and running it on the power supply for a while and then putting the battery back in seems to have fixed the no charging problem. So, oh. You know what they say about problems that fix themselves. Okay, so it appears that our fix did not permanently fix the laptop because now our light's blinking again, the thing's not starting up. I'm going to fiddle with it, and there's a website that says, uh, what is this website? Uh, how to fix Windows 10 laptop that's been plugged in but not charging. Okay, that's CNET.com. And uh, they suggest deleting the, um, under device manager, that the drivers that charge the battery. And they claim that uh, they will be restored when you do a uh, Windows update. So maybe if I can get this thing up and running again, I'll try deleting those drivers and see what happens. Okay, the stupid thing is blinking and and not starting up, so I unplugged the mouse and un un took out the battery, put it back in, took it out. Finally, I put the battery or the plugged in the external mouse, and that stopped it from blinking. Looks like it's going to boot up finally. Okay, so let's let it boot. Maybe we'll try deleting those drivers and see what happens. Okay, it looks like we got it started up again. So our Windows is working, and uh, Let's go down to start menu here. Oh, this one is a circle. Oh, come on. Start. Device manager. Okay. And we're supposed to go to batteries. Okay, let's look up here. It says batteries right there. Let's see if we can click on the little arrow to open it up. And look, we got three different batteries in there. And the, the example over here only had two. Let's just try installing them. We got this stupid computer up and running. Uh, uninstall. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we'll uninstall that one. Uninstall. And yep. Okay. And there's one more. And we'll just try uninstalling that one again. That one also. Okay. There. And uh, that's what they recommend. So we'll try that and see if that works. And, uh, okay, so I guess we'll have to wait and I might shut it down, put the battery back in, then we'll wait for an update and see if that helps. Okay. Okay, I just put the battery in. It looks like it's starting up again now. And we'll see how that works out. Okay, now we're getting this funny symbol. It says... No, no battery is detected. Oh, come on. Battery 1, battery 2 not present. Okay. That's very interesting. No battery is detected. Okay, I guess we'll have to wait until we get an update to see if it fixes itself. 
Okay, so let's try to force updates, I guess, because I'm getting sick of waiting. So we'll go down to the Windows icon, and we'll right-click on that. And we'll go to Settings. And uh, the Internet said it should be in here, but I don't see it. So I'll just do a search for updates. Okay, I hope I didn't spell it right. There, updates. And Windows update settings. Check for updates. Let's try that. Okay. You're up to date. Okay, looks like we're downloading something. Okay, pending download. Okay. Cumulative updates for Windows. Okay. Okay, status 100% ready. Okay, so that may have downloaded the updates. We'll have to see. Um, looks like we're downloading something. Okay. So it said uh, th these will download the updates and you have to cycle the power and it will install them. So hopefully that will completely fix our problem then. Okay, it looks like it's installing stuff now. So looks like this might have uh, forced it to do updates because it, it's doing some status installing. Okay. So, I guess we'll wait on that and see if the updates finish. Okay, that should be very interesting. Okay, so it looks like it finished downloading everything. And it says, it's got a button here that says restart now. Okay, so let's, let's try that. We'll click on, there's the Windows update thing. We'll click restart. Okay, and there it is. It's restarting. There's our computer. Let's see if this fixes the problem. Okay, and there it is. It's doing Windows Update. So the that did force it to do Windows Update. So it looks like it is working. Okay, this is very exciting. Okay, doing some more updates. Okay. Okay, just rebooted from the updates, the forced updates. And it still says battery not present. Well, oh, very interesting. So, I guess that didn't work the way it was supposed to. Okay, so we still have this uh, icon here. I don't know if you can see that very well. It says, no battery is detected. So, I guess we can try. Let's see if we can get the drivers back. Maybe I go down to uh, right click on the Windows thing and we're going to go to device manager and uh, a bunch of list of different things here 
and this one is batteries. Can I see that? And uh, remember, we uninstalled these a little bit ago. Let's try. Well, let's try updating driver. Uh, automatically search for drivers. Okay. And Windows has determined that this is the best driver. Okay. So let's just update all these drivers. Search automatically. Okay. Best drivers have been whatever. Update driver. Search automatically. So who knows? Who knows if that helped? Properties. It says the device is working properly. Looks like there's a driver installed. Oh. Okay. It still says no battery detected. Maybe maybe if I restart the computer, it will uh, fix this. Who knows? I think the, on the internet they said they took the battery out and put it back in, and I've been doing that quite a bit too. So maybe if we uh, just do all this enough times, it will fix itself. Who knows? Shut down. Okay. Okay, just restarted it, and it looks like it is still not detecting the battery. So, have to fiddle around with that some more. Okay, so after doing all these other steps, I finally uh, pulled out the battery on the bottom of the laptop computer and put it back in, reseated it, and now it looks like it's recognizing that there's a battery in there. And it says one hour and 26 minutes until full charge. It says, okay. So it says battery one is present and 4% and charging. Okay, so there's a four, first 5%. So it appears that it's recognizing the battery, and it is charging again. And a second ago, this had like battery with the. Uh, maybe I can get that icon to come up again. Okay. Uh, I pulled out the plug for a second, and it was running off the battery. And you can see it's got the little charging icon up there. You can see the power going up. And I did pull the plug out for a second here. And it was running for a second with the uh, battery. And so it appears that possibly all this stuff that we did fixed the battery. Okay. Anyway, up to 6%. So it appears as if it's charging the battery again. So maybe it was a problem with the Windows update, or maybe just receding the battery, or that doesn't seem like it should have made sense, but uh, <clears throat> I guess fiddling with it and deleting those drivers and reinstalling them seemed to help, because now it seems to be working again. Anyway, so this is uh, Dr. James, and thanks for watching. Ho hopefully this helps you out. This is so annoying. I hate Microsoft. There we go.